This past weekend, Wave Champions number 5 went down in Japan. The Wave Champions series is the one I covered before when I went over Wave Champions number 4. If you didn't watch that video, the Wave Champions series is a tournament where the winner of each iteration will be invited to a special invitational event. I covered when Tori Gudi won the last Wave Champion, securing their spot, but the other spots so far have gone to Neo, Jagaimo, and I'm. But that's all in the past. What I'm sure you're all concerned about today is who won Wave Champions number 5, securing their spot alongside our other competitors who I've already mentioned. Well, today I'll be going over just a little bit more than that, going over the 5 things from Wave Champions 5 that you should know about. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Number 5. Ryo's Big Upsets Ryo is a Japanese Sonic main who came into the event as the 31st seed, starting off the weekend by winning their first set against Annie in 3-0, but then losing versus Ken in another 3-0, starting off top 32 from loser's side. Once there, Ryo went on the second best loser's run of the tournament, perhaps with the best upset of it as well, defeating Nano 3-1 before next getting an insane Game 5 upset win over Abba Dango, winning against Abba 3-2. Unfortunately, Ryo lost to Kyo 3-0, who next lost against Takara 3-2 in the loser side top 8 qualifier. This meant that Ryo bowed out at 13th as the 31st seed after an impressive loser's run and insane upset. Number 4. Kept's Return Kept is the best villager in the world, and they've been slightly outside of the spotlight recently. But Kept returned to said spotlight at Wave Champions number 5, coming into the event as the 8th seed. Kept started off by getting through pools, defeating Cafe Ore 3-0 and Miso Soup 3-1, moving into top 32. Here, Kept defeated fellow top 8 finisher Eligo 3-0 before going up into winner's quarters and losing to Shuton 3-1. After this, Kept dropped into losers and defeated Mest, who had gone on an impressive losers run in a 3-0. After making top 8, Kept would lose to Takara for 7th. Number 3. Ellie Goes Losers Run We've covered a few losers runs so far today, covering Rio's and briefly mentioning Mests, but the difference between those losers runs and this one is that Ellie Go would actually make top 8. Eligo came into the event as the 9th seed, starting off the weekend by defeating Furu to make top 32 winner's side. Once here, Eligo lost to Kept 3-0 like we discussed earlier. Dropping into losers early, Eligo defeated Setsu and Ryope, both in 3 ones And lastly, Eligo defeated Yuzu in the losers top 8 qualifier in yet another 3-1, making top 8 from losers side. Unfortunately, once here, Eligo would lose to Leaf 3-0 for a final placement of 7th. <laughs> Number 2. Leaf's Breakout Leaf is the Japanese Robin main who you may know for being the player who upset Zachary at Kagadibi 11. And while that performance at Kagadibi is absolutely Leaf's first breakout performance, it was not to be their last, as Leaf went on yet another breakout run here at Wave Champions number 5. Leaf came into the event as the 11th seed, starting off the weekend by making top 32 through winners by defeating Imitation and Amepe, both in 3-0s. Once in top 32, Leaf got an insane 3-0 upset win over Abadango, before next losing to Jagaimo in winners quarters and yet another 3-0. Dropping into losers, Leaf defeated Konu Kururu in a close game 5 set to make top 8 losers side. Once there, Leaf defeated Eligo like we discussed earlier in a 3-0, before getting another insane upset win over Taike 3-0. Unfortunately, Leaf would next lose to Ken in a 3-1 for a final placement of 4th as the 11th seed. Number 1. The Battle to be a Wave Champion Grand Finals saw the two globally ranked players in attendance face off against one another, those two players being Shuton and Ken. However, their paths to make Grand Finals were quite different. Shuton came into the event as the first seed and swept not only pools, but top 32 as well, defeating Ryopei and Kept, both in 3 ones, to make top 8 winner's side. Once there, Shuton defeated Taike 3 1 in winner's semis, and then defeated Jagaima in one last 3 1 to make Grand Finals winner's side. Ken came into the event as the second seed, and just like Shuton, swept pools with no games dropped. In top 32, Ken defeated I Will 3-0 and Yuzu 3-1, making top 8 from winner's side. However, unlike Shuton, Ken would actually lose in winner's semifinals, losing 3-0 to Jagaimo. 
dropping into losers, Ken defeated Takara and Leaf, both in 3 ones, to make it back into losers finals for the runback vs Jagaimo. And while Ken's Sonic had failed him in the winner's semifinals set against Jagaimo, Ken swapped to Sephiroth for this losers final set and reverse swept Jagaimo, defeating them 3-0 in losers finals to make it back into grand finals, losers side. And even though Ken would reset the bracket in the game 5, it would be Shuton who won the reset 3-1, eliminating Ken at second place and becoming your champion of Wave Champions number 5, taking his spot among the other champions of the tournament series and securing their place in the invitational event that will include every Wave Champion winner. <laughs> That's going to be it for today's video. Before I go, shout out to my patrons Seth Laster and Farscold 323 and my YouTube member Stormtrooper, Locosoko, Matoon, Broapok, Diarrhea, DTR Jr., Defective, Neo, and my tier 2 members Mike G and Wu Tang Forever. Tomorrow I'll be going over the Big House 11's melee bracket, but until then, I've been Rooster Mice, and thank you all so much for watching.